Hello everybody. Yes, I'm finally back on live and I'm gonna be making St. Patrick's Day Andy's Mint cookies. It is beautiful out today. It's supposed to be 58 degrees. Um, we did get a little bit of snow on Saturday, but for the most part, it's been very nice. And so I have my St. Patrick's Day clothes on. I got, well, this is, you can't tell, but it's green. It looks like a little like, um, like a sea green, but it's green. So we're gonna get these cookies going. Um, so it's an Andy's Mint cookie. I have all my chips ready to go. I'll show you guys over here. So here's all my chips. So I'm gonna be doing white chocolate chips, Andy's Mint chips, uh, green and white M&Ms, which I sat here for 15 minutes pulling all the green M&Ms out of my M&Ms. And so I'm gonna get close, I think with my Spring Easter M&Ms, I'll have all spring colors. <laughs> and then I have my green sprinkles. Good morning, everybody. And then I have my dark chocolate chips. So I have everything all ready to go. It's close by me, I got my green on. Um, and so I have my bowl ready to go. I got my mixer all charged, ready to go. So I am prepared for making these wonderful cookies. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cream the butter and the shortening. And so I have three quarters cup of butter and three quarters cup of shortening. I'm actually gonna be like making a like a little vlog on it too, so I can share it on my other platforms. So if you guys, hello, sweet friend. So if you see me like reaching over, it's because I wanna share this with not only, well, you guys get to see the big live video. And I'm just hoping everything goes okay. I've been a little nervous to be on just because the last time I was on, it got like shut down, just very, very weird. Okay, so we're gonna start, oops. We're gonna start with, um the three quarters cup of butter, three quarters cup of shortening. All right, there we go. Okay. Make sure you measure that shortening right too. All right. All right, there we go. So we're gonna cream the shutter, sh the shutter. What's a shutter? We're gonna cream the shortening and the butter first. My big old huge bowl here. Hi Sandy. I'm gonna give you guys the recipe for one batch, but of course you guys know me, I make more than one batch. So it is one and a half cups of, let me make sure. So it's one and a half cups of brown sugar and then one cup of white sugar. So we're gonna cream this again. And I like to keep my station clean, so looks like I have a little bit in here. Okay. So now we're gonna cream the butters and the shortening with the sugar. Good. Probably for about, I don't know, just a couple of minutes. You want it nice and mixed. All right. And so it's two large eggs, but I added one extra egg yolk. So whenever you make like cupcakes or, or regular cakes, if you add just an extra egg yolk, it helps it to be like, like more dense and more moist. So it's two large eggs plus the egg yolk. All right. And then it's um, four teaspoons of vanilla. And I am gonna be adding a couple drops. So this is my Young Living Peppermint Oil. I'm actually, I, I thought I had peppermint extract and I don't. So I'm only gonna add a couple drops of this. Be, be, yeah, don't forget to hit the like button because it's very strong. So I'd say like four drops. It's a little more than four drops. We'll try it after I mix it. Okay, let's mix this. See if I need to add more mint or not. Ooh, smells good. Yeah, make sure you smash that like button because then they'll push our live. And I will be posting this so you guys can get the recipe for yourself. Good. 
So we do a King's Kids program um, every Wednesday and I thought we're gonna do like a St. Patrick's Day theme. So I'm gonna cut out like little clovers, get some glitter and then we'll have the cookies. So we're gonna try this. Okay. I just wanna see if it's minty enough. Okay. That is so yummy. I'm gonna add a couple more drops, so. That is so yummy. Mm. My friend Lacey makes me homemade vanilla, like from scratch. So good. All right, I added about four more because I can like taste it, but it's not like ooh minty and I want it to be ooh minty. A lot of these recipes um, call for um, food coloring and I didn't want to add, I'm thinking what could I add green food coloring? What could I add for green color? And I couldn't think of anything that would actually have like that green color that you didn't have to add the dyes and I already have the M&Ms and stuff so I didn't want to add more. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Uh, I'm just gonna take it from the side. So when you're baking with extracts, sometimes you can add a little bit more because when you cook, it kind of bakes the flavor out of them, but that's really good. I could just eat this batter right now. Okay, so this is all set. So now we're gonna move this out of the way. How's everybody doing? I know it's been forever. I was actually gonna go on and let you guys know that I was gonna come on and make these cookies today, but I wasn't really sure because Clover is home. She um, was hit by a car on Monday. She was in the vet for the whole week. And so she's still kind of struggling. So I have to take her out and I take her out in the sun and we stand there and I kind of like sat on the porch with her. and We just had our faces to the sun. So she's still trying to heal. And so I've been trying to make sure that I'm like over there. I got a little bit of a flower on my glasses. And so I just wasn't sure how it was gonna go, but I thought, you know what? I gotta make these cookies anyway. I might as well go on with everybody and make them. Okay, so now we're gonna put this to the side. Oh my goodness, I'm hitting like everything. Here we go. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're gonna put this to the side. So in here is, let me look at my, my recipe, cause see, I write everything down. Now I'm gonna be making homemade my own corned beef this, this week. I'm gonna make my own spices. Okay, so it is um, four cups of flour and we're gonna be adding a teaspoon of salt. And then um, two teaspoons of baking powder? No, baking soda. I can't read my writing, baking soda. I have a million of these yoke, these notebooks, these yoke books. I have a million of these yoke books, no. And then this is a little under a quarter cup. So you know how I add vanilla pudding to mine all the time? This is white chocolate pudding. Ooh, I'm gonna add that. All right, we're gonna whisk this together. And so my recipe does call for cornstarch, but I hardly use it and I have no cornstarch. So you can add four tablespoons of cornstarch. That just helps the cookies stay softer longer. But like I, you guys will see in the description, you can also add a piece of bread to your container and it will also keep them um, fresh. So, all right, so we're gonna mix this together, whisk it really well. I didn't used to do this when I was like a super, super lazy baker, which sometimes I still are. I would add the flour, then add everything on top of it. But I found that by whisking everything in a separate bowl, it does make the cookies better. All right, here we go. And I was looking to see if I had like a mint, like a chocolate mint pudding, nope. Okay, there we go. And so we're gonna add half of this to the batter. It smells so good. And let's mix. I don't know, this might not be enough for to give to King's kids and then to give to my kids. Might have to whip up another batter, batch of this. So, oh my goodness. So this recipe is a little different from my original chocolate chip recipe, so make sure you guys jot this one down too. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. But you can find peppermint extract at the grocery store. It smells so wonderful, you guys. Oh my goodness. I think I might have more toppings in it than the actual batter. It's so soft, oh my goodness. Ooh, I can feel that peppermint. Right. Amazing. I'm 
I'm loving these cookies already. They're not even done. So me and the kids are heading to see Gideon here soon, a couple weeks for spring break. My boards actually just left there. They went to see Gideon for uh, four days, Brennan and Robert, and they're on their way home right now. Okay, so now we're gonna add all the toppings. So I have one cup of white chocolate chips, and then one bag of Andy's mint chips. And I will have this recipe in the description when I post it. And then um, my 30 minutes of picking mini green and M&Ms. It looks like, I don't know, a cup. This is a cup of dark chocolate chips. Mm. And then green sprinkles. Looks amazing. Okay, I like a clean area here. Okay, I'm gonna try and mix it. Usually I sometimes I'll mix it with my hand or a spoon. But let's see if the good old mixer will do it. You wanna heat your oven up to 350, I haven't done that yet. They look amazing. All right, I feel like I'm breaking up my chocolate chips. Do this. Ooh, look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay. Old fashioned way, right here. Mix her in. Okay. These smell so good, you guys. Make sure you get that peppermint extract because it's going to make all the difference. Ooh, these are loaded. Let me turn that off. I'm like videoing myself. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Here we go. So if you don't see the big video, people can see the smaller one. Some people don't like to watch a big old video. But these cookies are beautiful. Look at this. They're so beautiful. I can't take it. I don't know if this is going to be enough, though. Some of you guys are thinking, that's not enough? Yeah, no. Usually I quadruple my recipe for my kids. And I have to do King's Kids and my kids with this batch. All right, I'm going to turn the oven on. Let me move you guys over. There we go. 350. So I know a lot of cookie recipes say to go like 375, but I like doing 350 just because... I don't want the outsides to cook. Like sometimes if you cook them too, on too high of a heat, the outsides will get brown before the insides are done. So I got my dishes done today. I got my bedroom redone. I hired one of Haley's friends to help me kind of get things going in the house and she's doing a beautiful job. She's been painting my entryway. You guys are gonna see that. You're gonna see my newly renovated bedroom. All right, I think, I hear some floaters, but I think it's inevitable. I got lots of stuff going on in here. There we go. We might go see Kung Fu Panda 4 tonight. I love Kung Fu Panda so much. Best show ever. Okay. Um, let me see here. Okay. Thank you, thank you. That is lots of chips, Yes. Aw, she said thank you so much for brightening her day. You're welcome. Well, you saying that brightens my day, just to, just to say. All right, let's get these on here. Uh, I had a spoon. Oh, I used it for something. Okay. Whew. You just watched it in theater. So how, yeah, I always, so I used to do, because you know, like most cookie recipes will say 375, but... I like to do them longer. So usually my cookies, well, the cookies when I bake them, take around 12 to 15 minutes at 350. So I know I've, I've shared this with you guys before, but when I used to make cookies, my thought process was they got to be brown on top or they're not cooked inside. And so I would overcook my cookies. Like they didn't seem like they were overcooked at first, but then when they sat and cooled, they hardened. And so my husband's like, 
you're cooking your cookies too long. I'm like, don't tell me how to cook. I know how to bake. He's like, you're cooking your cookies too long. He says, when you start to see the brown, that's when you take them out. And he was right. So when you start to see the edges brown or maybe the top, and you can kind of see it too. Like sometimes you can kind of see if the tops don't look too good, but sometimes the top will look not done. And if you kind of push it over, you can kind of see that it is. So when you start to see the tops aren't done, that's when you pull them out because you're gonna leave them on the cookie sheet to settle and the cookie sheet is still hot, so it still cooks the cookies. Does that make sense? And so you don't wanna cook them too long because you can't take them off the cookie sheet right away because they'll fall apart. So you have to let them settle. And so if you let them settle, they will continue cooking. I feel like my glasses are demolished. I, I feel like there's little spots all over them. Okay, so I just preheated my oven. Whew. Look at my little green tie for St. Patrick's Day. You know, I got like a million um, Valentine's sweaters and shirts and nothing for St. Patrick's Day. I don't know. But, and I, I don't know, I have to look and see if I can find, like I don't get like Eastery stuff, but I get like springy colored stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna put these on the pan here. There we go. Look at, look at this, you guys, I me. Mean, oh my goodness, it's all falling out. Okay, well I wanna show you guys how it looked. It looks good. Can you guys see that? Back you guys up a little bit. Here we go. All right, so we're just gonna put them. I don't know how much they're gonna spread. Um, I've been doing a like, since I've been doing the cookbook, which the pre-sales is out like really soon. Like you guys, the pre-sales is out like really soon. I have a couple of big meetings this week with my publisher and my editor. And um, so it's, it's so close. Like we're almost done editing the book. Um, we're gonna be taking pictures. The, um, the publishing company is coming out in May to take pictures for the actual cookbook. I've already sent them pictures of when my kids were little baking. So they, you guys get to see those pictures. Um, let me see, let me get these, hold on a second. I gotta focus here. I see my Josh, he's coming in. All right. Holy cow, these smell amazing, you guys. Like these really smell good. I don't want to get too many on. I don't want to make them super big because I have lots of people to, to serve. Okay, there's one done. And I didn't do like those sugar sprinkles because those sugar sprinkles, they tend to melt sometimes. I don't know. I don't like them. Green's my favorite color. For those of you who didn't know, green's my favorite color. So yeah, I redid my bedroom. My son Noah's working on um, some shoe holders for me for my entryway and the, um, the game room area. We got a lot of cool things we're doing to get organized here. It's like a spring cleaning times a thousand. All right, let me get this pan going here. Oh, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> my kids are gonna love these. Not a lot of people like mint, but hopefully I didn't put too much in there. Okay. This is great. I love them so much, I can't even take, I'm probably gonna say that over and over, just let you guys know. All right. I might have a little too much on this other pan, but. All right, there's two pans done. I can put three pans in. I'm trying to, <laughs> my M&Ms are falling all over the place. Okay, get that off. So um, this weekend we went um, prom dress shopping for Isabella, which you guys are gonna see that, but you're not gonna see it for a while because she's like, mom, don't post it yet because I don't want people to see my dress and then somebody look like me. I'm like, honey, I mean, there's not like a million of those dresses, but I said, okay, I said, we'll wait till it gets closer. So when, so when it gets closer to prom, you guys will see that vlog. It was so fun. She actually found her dress at the very first place and I wanted to share a picture. She's like, don't share no pictures yet. So I said, okay. So you guys will see that, but you probably won't see that for a couple of weeks until things get a little closer um, because she wants to kind of, you know, she doesn't want to give it the, what she goes, well, mom, listen, so if you post the vlog, she said, just don't tell them which dress I picked and they have to guess. So we'll see, I'm not sure. 
but that so you guys will see that um that trip we went with a couple friends and with Haley and it actually was nice and then one of her best friends Briley who is so funny oh my goodness she's hilarious but she looks beautiful in everything like she looks beautiful in everything she looked beautiful in the green dress she looked beautiful in the 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 high she looked beautiful in the purple dress and the blue dress she looks beautiful What's in all of them hair? I'm green it's St. Patrick's Day cookies so I'm dressed in green. It's like I'm getting married again. <laughs> he says it's like he's getting married again. <laughs> I gotta be green if I'm making St. Patrick's Day cookies. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But no, she looks so beautiful because she's got like the most beautiful skin ever. And then yellows and light blues and purples were so beautiful on her. Okay, there we go. Did you get her a ladder, Josh? Yeah, I did. Okay, thank you. So the girl, the kids are home from doing eggs, and Josh she is helping Sarah out because she needs a ladder to get high up. Um, we went to Hobby Lobby this weekend. I picked up a couple things to put. So I'm waiting to like completely finish my bedroom to show everybody how it turned out. So I had to get some things for the walls. And then I got some things for my walls for my game room too. I got a lot of really cool ideas, but I want Noah's building me these shoe shelves that don't take up a lot of space. They go on the wall. And so he's already made me two. Then he's going to make me a couple for like both entryways. We could renew our vows. You're right. We could maybe like on our 50th or our 30th or something. Yeah, these look good. All right. I'm going to get a Okay. Before we finish this, I'm going to put a couple cookies in the oven so we can see what they look like. So let me throw a couple in here. Okay. All right, so I got a couple in the oven. St. Patrick's Day, look at my shirt. I love these like Simply Southern sayings. They're super cute. I have a Dolly Parton one too. But um, it don't fit right now, but it will, it will. You know, when you go to get shirts, they look like bigger than you think. And then when you get home, you're like, oh, that's not very big, <laughs> whatever. It's supposed to be beautiful today. Like I said, 58 degrees, I'm gonna have to get out and walk. All right, can you guys see the cookies? I can't see if you, thank you. Um, so my plan too for our next live is I'm going to be making homemade Cheez-Its. I have been seeing it all over the place, this homemade recipe. They vary a little bit. I think I'm going to vary with mine. So I think I'm going to do, a lot of people do the cheddar cheese, but I think I'm going to do a Parmesan cheese too. And maybe even um, sprinkle like the, the Parmesan cheese on top of it. So I am going to vary a little bit from it, but it looks absolutely amazing. And our family loves Cheez-Its. So, man, if I can find a recipe that works like these Cheez-Its, I definitely would be interested because we love crackers. Salty stuff. We like salty stuff. Okay. Looks like one more here. Okay. In a second, we just get to chat. Uh, some of us later. Oh, so I am making... Um, okay, so I got all these ready to go. So I'll just tell some of you guys who are late, I need to make some tea. We might have to make some tea together. Uh, so I'm making um, St. Patrick's Day cookies. So what it is, is I have white chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips. I have green M&Ms. I did Andy's mint. And then I added, um, I normally add two eggs to my cookies. This recipe is a little different. So I added an extra egg yolk because egg yolks make things um, like more like cakes and cupcakes more dense. It makes them moist. And then I added the lemon, my vanilla. I was gonna do peppermint extract and I thought I had, so when I made macarons, I have a ton of different kinds of extracts like pineapple, coconut, like beautiful, beautiful Baco um, extracts. Well, I haven't made my macarons in such a long time, I need to. So I had a chocolate brownie extract and I couldn't, it was, it was a mint brownie and I couldn't find it. So I must've used it when I made my macarons. These won't be in the cookbook 
But let me tell you, I am writing things down to the T because we are gonna be doing a holiday cookbook. I'm hoping, they're, they're talking of they'd like me to do a series. So I'm thinking of Big Mama Bell, big family holiday cooking with Mama Bell. And so all my cookies, our desserts, um, our traditions, our games, things we do during the holidays, like with the Easter baskets and just everything I do, we're gonna share with you guys like the tradition, how it came about. And so that is something that um, I think is gonna be the next one. So maybe next year will be Big Mama, Big Mama, I am a big mom right now. Um, big family cook, Mama Bell's big family holiday cooking or big family cooking holiday, I don't know, I figure it out. And then Mama Bell's big family uh, garden cooking. So it's gonna be like a series. Of, and I, I, I do have smudges all over myself. Okay, so I'm actually gonna bring you guys over here while our cookies are going, and I'm gonna make tea with you guys. There you go. I love, 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 love my coffee, my kettle here. So I'm gonna get that going. I got these glasses from TJ Maxx. Love them so much. And so I do a... I do a cinnamon stick in my coffee. Hello, sweet cheeks. I do, a, do a cinnamon stick. I do a cinnamon stick in my coffee. That's, that's bologna. Don't listen to Haley, it's not bologna. <laughs> and then I also do ginger and lemon. So I'm gonna grab my ginger out. I don't know what happened to it. There's my ginger, there's my lemon. All right, and then I get all my teas. Hello, how are you? Will all my recipes be from scratch, no mixes? Um, so yes, I actually don't have any recipes from mixes. You mean like cakes and stuff? Because I do have a from scratch cake recipe, cupcake recipe. So it will be um, not from boxes, is that what you mean? I have a, um, a from scratch brownie recipe that I absolutely like. Okay, so I got my cinnamon stick in. I do my mango digestive one. I wasn't planning on showing you guys how I make my tea, but hey, why not, hey? And then I also do my positive energy hibiscus. So I do two of these. And everybody's been getting sick around us and I have been like making sure to do my, my lemon, my ginger. And so then I just do a lemon wedge. Hi David. I have lots of sandwich stuff. Yep, and then in that cabinet in Joshi's um, snack drawer having a hard time here. I don't know if I'm gonna do a book signing tour. Um, our snow is almost gone, so then I put a lemon in it. My tea right here. I don't know yet about the book signing. And then ginger. You guys on lunch break? I'm gonna do extra ginger today. He's here. All right, just waking, waiting for my tea to. So when I did a um, a food sensitivity test, it told me that I shouldn't do cinnamon, but I know it's really good for your heart. So let's check our cookies here. I'm gonna walk you guys with me. Oh, look at those. These are St. Patrick's Day cookies. With Andy's, it's this weekend. I'm gonna make that corned beef with cabbage and David's my uh, my. He, I think if I had to pick anybody who's um, who is picky, I think he'd probably be my pickiest. He's not super picky, but he is my pickiest. No, no cake mix stuff. I do have like a dump cake recipe that is really good, but like my peach cobbler and all that, um, it's from scratch because cobbler is really not hard to make. Ooh, it's getting warm in here. So my beautiful kettle, my beautiful kettle. Okay, so we're just waiting for that. What do we got healthy? How do you go? What do we got healthy sandwich stuff? Oh, soup, chicken broth downstairs, my bone broth. Whew, it's getting on here. Yeah, you can, do, you can make yourself a soup. You can have a sandwich. You can do just the bread and cheese and make a grilled cheese or, I don't know. We're trying to eat really healthy here. I'm making a roast for dinner, so that's healthy with carrots and potatoes. And yeah, that's dinner. That's dinner. Yeah, we're trying to eat, get get healthy. You can have a sandwich. 
I'd like to. I would like to go to see um, the Kung Fu Panda 4. Okay. Would you mind if I possibly brought the twins? I absolutely would not mind. I absolutely would not. Okay, coming over. Say hi to everybody. Hi, Haley. Greetings from Germany. Oh, here comes Joshi. My side by side works, Mama. It does. Yes, it does. Nice. You know how? How? Uh, secret. Oh. Why did you tell me it's a, okay, I gotta get my so cookies out. I, gotta go on I love sandwiches. I turn on the key, Everybody the battery is going dead. I love them. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to make a live video here. Back off, you guys. Mom. Well, honey. And then I put the battery charger on. Yes. And it charged the battery, and it showed the battery did, and it charged it, <laughs> brought it up, and it ran it. Oh, yeah. oh nice. So yeah, it's working Oh, these cookies are minty. Okay. You guys get the whole uh, group my today. Mama. My mama. I wish I liked you know. You didn't bake the green peas. They're really good, those peas. My mama. Hey, when you can't eat bad, they're just salt and dried peas. Hi. Are you not nice No. They're not bad, they're weird though. Lightly salted. I think I love them. They want to know. Oh, you're like jellyfish? Oh. Look at my pants are too big. Yeah. Look at these. These let are me, really let me good. Show them. Mom, let me. These Wait, are these really, are really good. These are harvest snaps, so they're like peas. I need one for Dave. They're dehydrated peas. They have fault on them. They're really good. And they really, really and good. And you know, the ingredients is always is only peas. It's only peas, rosemary, and salt. There's nothing bad on them. You said Jojo. <laughs> somebody called me Jojo, Mom. <laughs> like, somebody said Jojo. They said Jojo. Hi. I'm What's making, up, Josh? I'm, I'm making he cookies. He has a day off today. Mm. You're not making cookies with me. They see me make the cookies. <laughs> Can't take credit for that. Do you want a sandwich? Go grab a sandwich. You gonna go out to the fields with Dad? I don't know if Dad. Dad, are you going to the fields? Okay, come over there. So all the ingredients on those pans. Farmer note. Wait, what does it say? Oh, yeah. Haley, let me see that. They don't believe me. What? The ingredients is only. So look at I'm live, yeah. So look at. It's peas. Nope. Peas, canola, rice, salt, rosemary. I guess there's rice. I don't know why there's rice. Maybe the rice is like a rice flour. You want a sandwich, Dad? I don't know nothing. You want anything? So, it's a little wetter, so it says I love wait, my wait, wife, back. but then there's actually more. Hi. But it says it big, I love my wife. <laughs> so, my cook, it's okay if it says hi. Um, so my cookbook pre-sales is coming soon, like really soon. I have a meeting today, this week about it. Honey, you don't want a sandwich before you go? I didn't pass you this morning, you didn't even wave me or anything. You want us to whip you up a sandwich? Okay, they're gonna see me do my good wife duty. <laughs> Here we go. I only just asked that. Do you, ask me. Do you want mustard and mayonnaise? I want it made with love. Love is an action. <laughs> love is an action. Okay. Yeah. I'm making I'm my husband a nice sandwich with love on good. live. At the bar. People are clapping. You were Do you want mustard, mustard hunt or just mayonnaise? What kind of sandwich? You're calling, you're talking Ham and cheese? If it's peanut butter and jelly, I don't want any mustard. Ham and cheese. Yes, mustard, please. Okay, can you give me some mustard, please? You guys don't gotta argue on live. Oh, you're not arguing? Oh. Sorry. Okay. I'm not arguing. No, I don't know. Crazy. Yelling. Okay, I need mustard. My ears kind of feel clogged. Plugged. 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 Plugged? They've not even eaten your pants. Can you please hand me a piece? I had one yesterday. I'll get it. He did have one yesterday, actually. Are they ripe or no? No. Yeah, tomatoes. Soft and juicy. Um, no. I do have tomatoes if you want some. Oh. That's, that's too much love. Tomatoes is too much love. That is the definition of love. Tomatoes is too much love. I hate putting tomatoes on I haven't told him about our new Hain adventure yet, no. 
Oh, I'm sure they want to know. They do want to know. Okay, honey, That's there you go. Is stuff. that where you're going in the field? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Oh, love well, you. Thank you. Love oh, you. Hopefully my cookies aren't burnt because I had to make you a love sandwich. Good work. Have a great day in your field. Oh, my glasses. Oh, Ooh, those are beautiful. Beautiful. Don't they? I just Y'all get the whole experience today. My husband, my boys, my daughter. You know what? Today, I will go and get you the seeded bread that you can have. That thin bread. Okay, then just do one because you didn't have a sandwich, right? Put a ton of avocado on it to make up for the bread. Put tons of protein on it. Are okay. They for anything? No, they're for anything. They're on sale. Like 70 cents a piece. Yeah, they're soft. They're nice, yeah. They look actually perfect. All right, so we got the first batch of cookies out, you guys. Oh, oh. They're really cute. Um, I kind of need that area. I guess I can put them over here. Starbucks coffee, avocado toast for breakfast. What a beautiful day. Ooh, eating Chick fil A, yummy. Ooh, I love okay. Chick fil A. Nikki's eating Chick fil A. I'm not going to come see her because she's teasing us. Put the recipe in the comments. Okay, so I have already put the recipe in the description. So, um, are you going to come watch Kung Fu Panda with us tonight? I like it. I'm broke. It's $5. Haley can pay for it. Whoa. Haley's also broke. <laughs> Haley's also broke. Looks, well, like, no, no, looks no, like mom's no, paying for everybody. It's not $5 at Texas Roadhouse. No, it's $5 at Monday's at the movie theater. Oh, the tea God. recipe. I will post the tea recipe for you, you too. Yes. Man. And you know what, too? I will, Barbara, I will be praying for you. Let's go to the... I'm going to pray for you. Maybe we could go to Texas Roadhouse before we go to the show tonight. So we have a Texas Roadhouse and a Panera that we love. I love both. Nice, nice. The cookies are very, very easy to make. I'm just letting them set for a second so I can put them on. For Keen's kids and for you guys. Well, not you, but for the boys. It's for St. Patrick's Day. Into We're going to do a St. Patrick's Day theme at King's Kids this week. I thought I missed St. Patrick's Day. You didn't. But a bunch of these girls in my snap all dressed in green. That's because they're they're celebrating St. Patrick's Day week. Maybe Should I do it over? I don't really have no room here. That's okay. All right. No, I honestly thought it was St. Patrick's Day. It's no, it's Saturday. Green. I'm going to make a roast. It's Sunday. It's, oh, it's Sunday. Yeah. All right. These look wonderful, you guys. Perfect. I got the other two in. Ooh, what's a magic bar? Joshua's camera shy. <laughs> Not really. He's so funny. Now he's over there talking to Sarah. Did he get Sarah a ladder? No, he got a, well, yes, but he got a side-by-side. -side oh, he's got a side-by-side? -side? Oh, that's why he's happy today, because he got a side-by-side -side running. Yeah. It was the battery like Pastor said then. I figured it was just a battery. I just figured it was better. All right. Crumble cookies who? So that's so funny. So I actually made my um, my famous chocolate chip cookies in a TikTok video. And people were tagging Crumble Cookie. And so Crumble Cookie got a hold of me and asked if they could send me like a box of their cookies. Recently? No, a while ago, but I never got them. Um, but the the guy who, the CEO of Crumble Cookie, he actually friended me on TikTok. The toaster is one piece. It's smoking because there's still a little bit of cheese left in there. That probably wasn't the best idea, but... Well, the first ones did okay, but the I didn't realize my burrito shell had a hole in it. And so the cheese all... In... <laughs> this is kind of not good. Okay. Hey. Well, all right. Only have one piece of let's, get, uh, <laughs> let's get some more of these going here. I have one. I have one. You have two. Oh, where's Clover? She's laying down over there. Oh, I took geez. her outside potty a couple times. Good. Yeah, she's struggling. They're amazing. They look great. Yes. All right, I'm going to get the rest of these on the pan. I usually make them a lot bigger, but I want them to go a lot farther than normal. I've been taking her outside, and we've been sitting in the sun because she likes the sun. And then she's gone potty a couple times, so she's doing good. She ate all her food this morning. 
When I came downstairs, she had eaten that whole thing. So oh, they gave her like a whole carrier thing? Yeah, like when you take her outside, if you want her to walk, it goes around her belly and then like her little legs will try to move. Oh. All right, so we're gonna do the last of these cookies here. Bonjour, bonjour. Haley's making avocado toast, Sarah, if you'd like a piece. What'd she say? She's back on my diet. Oh, I, I was going to get special bread, but Haley didn't want to wait. You know, like that seeded bread that's really thin? Uh -huh. It's like high protein. I'm going to pick up some of that tonight. So people is can have some. sourdough bread good for you? Sourdough bread is very good for you because it breaks down differently than normal bread. So yes, it is. Trying to make some or getting into making it? Melissa has a starter. That's what Haley told me. I think Lacey has a starter I was too. Scouring the internet trying to find like, how to make a starter. Because you look up how to make sourdough and everyone goes, oh, you need like starter. Yeah, you need no, a starter. Where, where it gets started, huh? And you know, too, is rye bread's really good for you too. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Is rye it, bread is breaks. That the brown one? Yeah, but you can do a white rye. Oh. But it breaks down in your system. So if you ever go in the store, like go to the, the restaurant, always get rye bread. Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah, white is good for you. It's good, but that doesn't mean it's the best for you. Yeah, it, yes, it does. Okay, if healthy food tasted better, the people would eat it. Are you going back to the church? Are you going back to the church, David? No. Yes, you are. Oh, you're done for the day? No. So I do normally go on live more, but the last time I was on live, I got kicked out because we've had a problem with our accounts. Like everybody's had a problem with accounts on all platforms. So you guys were going to Vegas. And so I was, we are going to Vegas. And so I, I've been a little nervous to go on and I thought, you know what, forget it. I'm just gonna do it and just pray nothing happens. So the white M&Ms were actually in my patriotic. I can't talk over you guys. So the white M&Ms were actually red, white and blue M&Ms and I took the white ones out. And the green were part of a normal bag of M&M's, but they do have like a mint flavored M&M or something. Okay, got, hold on a second. Let me get a little clean in here. Excuse me. I like to keep my station very clean when I'm cooking. All right, here we go. There's David Bell. What do you need? Oh, they just see you. Ooh, he thinks he's sneaky. Caught him. He just took chocolate chips out of it. You know those are dark chocolate chips. Is that okay? Yeah, no, no, I can't do that. No. <laughs> I like dark chocolate. You like dark chocolate? Dark chocolate's good for you. Well, hopefully, they actually, dark chocolate is really good for you. All right. So, I might, I might take some more. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you think I was trying to Thank speak? you. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to let you go. Um, I got to show you the how to make them. You got to see the final. I'm going to be posting this on so you guys will be able to get the recipe. And then Barbara, I think it was Barbara, I'll post the recipe for my tea. I've been drinking like three or four of these a day. And everybody is getting the flu around us and I haven't gotten sick. And my husband's like, make me one of those. So I made him one of those last night. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for joining me on making St. Patrick's Day cookies. And make sure to subscribe and like to our page. And we're also, I do lives on Facebook too. Um, I like to make things on Facebook. So my next live I think is going to be either maybe toward the end of the week and I'm going to be making homemade Cheez-Its. I think I have everything for it. I got the Parmesan cheese and I got the cheddar cheese. So I'm going to do two, two different kinds. So hello everybody. So look for me toward the end. That's okay. I, I will be on the end of this week. So plan on, I have a meeting on Wednesday, meeting on Thursday. So let's plan on Friday. I might be able to go on Saturday morning too. So either Friday morning or Saturday morning, but I will go on our community page, tell you guys when I'm gonna go on there to make the homemade Cheez-Its. And I do have like several videos to share with you guys. My, my first Menards, uh, my first Menards video, uh, shopping, grocery shopping or grocery haul with Haley is up. Um, we did a our monthly normal fruits and vegetables. That one's coming. Uh, Noah opened up a cereal uh, 
a St. Patrick's Day cereal thing from Lucky Charms, so he wanted to video that. And then Izzy's prom dress, but that's gonna be a little bit because she wants to wait just a little bit. Um, so, uh, so yeah. So anyway, thank you so much for, I thought I heard wind, but what was that? Oh, it's the air purifier. I'm like, it's not windy at all. Okay, guys, well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sunshine, and then look in the description for the recipe for the cookies and for the tea. All right, thank you so much.